write down the horizontal speed of the brake just before the girl catches it uh, so here on the question statement we are told that uh, the girl uh, she catches a brick of mass 5 kg which is thrown vertically downwards from the top of a high wall so the brick is thrown vertically downwards uh, from the top of a high wall right so if a brick is thrown vertically downwards then it has a horizontal speed of zero meters per second right because it's only moving along the horizontal so the answer for 4.1 uh, we're going to have Vx, uh, x being for horizontal, uh, being equals to 0 meters per second. And then now uh, moving to the next question, 4.2. 4.2 is saying that uh, let's calculate the girl's speed just before she catches the break. Let's calculate the girl's speed just before she catches the break. So let's go through the question statement and have an idea of what is going on. So we are told here that a girl on roller skates of combined mass to 52 kg moves horizontally at a certain constant velocity. So we have some mass which is equal to 52 kg and then the velocity is unknown, right? And then goes on to say that she catches a break of mass 5 kg. So we have a mass of the break which is equal to 5 kg. Uh, it's been thrown vertically downwards. So it has a horizontal uh, velocity of zero like we have did use in 4.1 and then the girl continues to move in a straight line at a speed of 2.4 meters per second after catching the brink so when we have uh, the girl of mass 52 kg plus the brink of 5 kg they move together at a velocity of 2.4 meters per second but right? which law are we going to use to solve this problem we're going to use the conservation of linear momentum right so that is to say that uh, the momentum before the sum of the momentum before will be equals to the sum of the momentum after so let's go ahead and try calculate the momentum before so before we have a mass of uh, the girl right and then it's moving at a certain velocity and that will be the momentum of the girl plus the mass of uh, the brick it's moving at a certain velocity and then that will be the momentum of the brick and then after the girl catches the brick we now have m1 plus m2 right uh, the mass of the girl and the brick and then they're moving at the same velocity right uh, so what is the mass of the girl we know fully well that the mass of the girl is 52 kgs and then the velocity uh, initially before catching the brake it's unknown it's what we're looking for and then plus uh, the mass of uh, the brick which is five kgs and then multiply by the velocity of the brick before the girl catches it uh, we're interested in the x component so we're going to have zero here and then this will be equals to uh, obviously uh, the mass of the girl plus the mass of the brick that will be 52 plus 5 multiply by the velocity at which uh, they are moving at so we have multiplied by uh, 2.4 so 5 multiplied by 0 is going to be 0 right so we're going to just be left with uh, 52 multiplied by the velocity of the girl before catching the brick so if we solve for that right uh, we're gonna get uh, a velocity being equal to 52 plus 5 multiplied by 2.4 and then everything divided by uh, we divide in by 52 the coefficient of uh, v and then the answer here is uh, 2.6308 meters per second to the direction the girl was uh, initially moving at right yeah this question doesn't really say a lot about uh, the direction whether the girl is moving to the east or the girl is moving to the right but since the question says speed we can just uh, forget about the direction and just write uh, the magnitude right and then uh, now let's move to 4.3 so what do we have here on uh, 4.3 the girl brick combination moving at 2.4 meters per second moves on to a rough surface she comes to rest after moving two meters along the rough surface and then uh, 4.3 is saying that let's write down a pair of action uh, reaction forces acting while the girl catches the brick while the girl catches the brick 
So when the girl kicks the brick, the brick is going to apply a force on the girl, right? So we're going to have uh, the weight of the brick, the weight of the brick, and then a force opposing the weight of the brick. That will be the normal force of the girl's hands, right? Because the brick is going to lay on the girl's hands. The reason why the brick doesn't go and hit the ground it is because the girl is holding the brick and exerting a normal force because we know that if you put an object on top of another, then there's going to be a normal force. So we have a normal force there exerted uh, by the girl's hands, uh, right? And then another pair, we can start with FG, uh, the force of gravity, right? The force that uh, the earth is pulling uh, the girl with. We know fully well if the earth is pulling the girl, then the girl is also pulling the earth. So we have uh, that force there. And then those are our action reaction pairs. And then now moving to 4.4. So let's uh, solve uh, 4.4, right? The question is saying that uh, let's calculate the magnitude of the net force exerted by the rough surface to bring the girl brick combination to a stop after two meters. So let's look at the information that we have and see what we can do, right? So we know that after the girl catches the brick, they start off at a initial velocity of 2.4 meters per second. And then they come to a complete stop. So we have VF being equals to zero meters per second. And then uh, what else do we have? We have the mass of the girl brick system. So that will be 57 kgs, right? And then we're looking for Fnet, right? So based on the variables we have here, you can easily see that uh, Fnet, uh, we can find it using Newton's second law in terms of momentum, right? So we have delta P divided by delta T, right? So Fnet is equals to, so what is delta P? The mass multiplied by Vf minus Vi, right? So we have Vf minus Vi divided by delta t. So let's just go ahead and substitute and find our answer real quick. So the mass will be uh, 57 kgs. Vf is zero, they come to a complete stop. And then Vi is 2.4. And then divided by delta t. Right, now we have a problem. We need delta t and we don't have it. So how can we calculate that? Let's look at the variables we have again. We have Vf. We have VI, uh, and then apart from that, we have uh, delta X, right? And then we're looking for delta T. So which formula can we use to find delta T? Uh, it should be easy to see that uh, we can say that uh, delta X is equal to VF uh, plus VI divided by 2 multiplied by delta T, right? Yeah, very rarely do we use this formula, but then, yeah, look at us now. We have to sort of use it. Uh, so delta x is 2, vf 0, vi 2.4 divided by 2 multiplied by delta t, right? So we divide in both sides by the coefficient of delta t. So delta t, so we have delta t is going to be equals to what? 2 divided by uh, 2.4 divided by 2. So our delta T is 1.6667 seconds, right? So now we can uh, substitute uh, this delta T on the equation we had, right? So if we do that, uh, we're going to have F net. So we have F net when equals to, so 57, and then 0 minus 2.4 divided by delta t, which we now know is 1.6667. And then if you put that in your calculator, uh, we shall get uh, minus 82.0784, right? Uh, so we can just say 82.0784 newtons. And then we don't have to think about the direction because the equation is saying uh, the magnitude. Let's just leave it like that.